Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome on back to our Minecraft survival world. Last episode, we connected up our farming settlement to the rest of the world by adding in two bridges. The first bridge is a fully functional, fully working bridge, whereas the second one is a bit more run down and dilapidated. The idea was to put a diagonal bridge there, but I didn't like two diagonal bridges or two bridges in such close proximity. So I was getting rid of it and the stumps remained and I was like, you know what, this actually looks alright. So I added a couple of oak planks to it and we got ourselves a bridge that looks like it was there but isn't anymore. Then we connected those bridges up to our settlement using pathways, using the same design we'd used in the rest of the settlement. We then moved over to the other side of our settlement to where the sheep farm is, and we connected that up to the road as well. That's what we did in last episode, and as you can see here, this is our farming settlement. This is what we've been building up over the past 11 or 12 episodes, and it's starting to really come along, and I want to continue adding to it today. So, the first task of today is this empty space right here outside of the sheep farm i'd like to add some sort of like cart there maybe we have some wheat in the back of that cart the idea is that cart will serve the purpose of holding the feed for our two horses that helps us get out of the desert and all the way over here now we obviously didn't ride all the way over the desert on them but in the law we did so that's the first thing that i want to add then the next thing i want to do is move on to this middle patch right here this is where I plan to build two small manor houses. I want to add in two fictional houses from two worlds that I really, really like. And to do that, I'm going to need a blue and a red wood. And I don't have access to that yet. We will in the new nether update. But as it stands right now, we don't actually have access to it. So what I want to do in that sort of situation is add in the outline. Add in the shape so I can tell where I need to bring it. Go around and figure out how much space I truly have to play with in this world. After I've done that, the next thing that I want to do is add in some purpose-built wheat, potato, and carrot seeds. This is our farming settlement, and other than this small patch over here, we don't actually have anywhere to really grow them in large quantities. Now, I've got a wheat field over there, which is just kind of put together for now, but I'd like to have a purpose-built one where I can go and harvest my wheat, my potatoes, and my carrots so we can breed up the rest of our animals because, unfortunately, the pigs are not breeding up because I don't have a, a renewable source of carrots. So we need to go and fix that. So let's go on to that. First task of today, I'm going to start work on the car. Guys, here we have it. The wagon is somewhat in place. It's a very simple, very basic wagon. I think it actually serves the purpose pretty good. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to stack up some sort of wheat on here. Uh, maybe have them, I don't know, maybe have this one go up again as well, like so. Yeah, I think I think I kind of like that. Uh, and then at the front here, I think I'm going to have a couple of barrels added in. Uh, maybe another section of wheat there. Uh, no, let's not, let's not put that one up. And then on the back here, I'm going to take out this one. And I'm also going to put in a crafting table. Just to make it look like he's, you know, carrying stuff here. And then just to add some sort of additional detail to this i'm just gonna add in some rails like so to make it look like this is what's holding this in place so we've got that kind of like holding in place there actually it might be worthwhile just putting another one at the front here and having this one held in place by these as well come on select the rails there we go that looks kind of good I, I, I think this is a little bit of a harsh transition here but there's not really much that i can do about that so there we go, we, we've got that. We could also run a ladder up the side of the crafting table just to sort of uh, add in a little bit more to it. We could then go, grab one of these and see if we can hook up. Come on, select it. No, I, I didn't think that I'd go that way. I had a feeling it wouldn't. But we could at least put a crafting table uh, ladder on it just to make it look somewhat different. But yeah, we could also actually have the ladders in here. Just to sort of give it some more sort of like strength so that transition isn't as hard. I kind of like that. Yeah. So there. That's that. So my next task is to start outlining the houses that I'm going to put here. Now again, I'm not going to be building the houses in this episode. That's going to come in a later episode. But for now, I do want to get the outlines in place so at least I know roughly where they're going to go. Well guys, I've got the outline of the first manor house in place. It's actually much bigger than what I was kind of expecting it to be but I still think that we could both fit in both houses if I was to bring the pathway sort of down and around like this keeping it close to the house put the other house maybe here 
we should be able to fit to 10. I think that's probably what I want to do, but that means that I've got to tear down my temporary tree farm. I've just mined the tree there, so I've got all the saplings from there. It served its purpose. I've got a bunch of saplings, so I'm happy to tear it down. But this is the outline, and you, you can't really tell what it is from this, which I'm kind of glad I don't want to give it away, although I will be putting the name of what it is in the title of the episode when we build it, because I think it'll really help having the na that name in it. But yeah, so... Now I've got to move on to get this next outline done here. I'm not sure how big this one is going to be. This one is even more challenging because with this one, I could find a front side view of it, a side view of it, the back view, and the other side view, or at least enough shots to put all of that together. With this one, I can only find a front and a back view. I can't find side views of it. So we're going to have a bit more luck, see if I can find one. But if not, we'll have to just improvise. I'm fine with that. you still get the picture. So guys, the second manor house is in place. And this is not really a manor house. It's, it's rather small. There's some decking on the front of it, which is what this cobblestone symbolizes. But we've got the outline. So now I've got a rough shape of kind of how big this is actually going to be. It's going to be quite big now I'm thinking about it. Uh, especially this one. This one is actually technically a manor house in the, in the series that it's part of. It is deemed a manor house, whereas this one is just normal residence house. It's not a particularly manor house. Now, there is another side to it, um, back side to it, but I don't want to use that. I want to... It, it, it's strange, and I don't want to give it away, so I'm not going to say, but when we get into this, there's a reason why the back side isn't going to match up with, the, with how... The backside is if you were to go and look at the house. We're going to do our own. And there's a reason for that. But yeah, the sides are very difficult to sort of understand how they go. So I've kind of just put this in temporarily. I'm not going to put anything behind it because I think I'm going to have to move this along two blocks. Not fully, just extend it two blocks or three blocks or something. I think I've got a good size for the front. I think this is going to be perfect. But for the back, not so much. But yeah, so let's move on to what I want to do. I want to put a windmill over here. I'm thinking maybe about here. And the windmill is going to be the storage for wheat, potatoes, carrots, poison potatoes, and seeds. And maybe even hay bales if we want to. So it's going to be both a functional windmill and also going to serve a dual purpose as well as storage as well. I think that's good. I was going to have storage silos and I may still have storage silos. But I think the windmill will be a great place to store just those while I'm farming them up here. Because if you, if you farm crops with a silk, with a um, fortune pick... You get a lot more, and that's what I've been doing to get more seeds there. That's what I was doing here. So, yeah. So, I think I'm going to get some sort of groundwork laid down. Well, guys, I've got the blueprint in place. So, like, how much space this is going to take up. And this is the kind of outer shell. We're going to have chest storage in each of these alcoves to the side. And is that symmetrical? Yeah, that is symmetrical. Then, out the back here, we're actually going to have a doorway there, a doorway here, and a doorway here. And the idea is these will each lead into this separate field. So one will lead into the carrot field, one into the potato field, and one into the wheat field. I think that's kind of what I want to do. And it's, it's not a typical windmill shape, I know. Like, if we look at it, that is not the shape of a regular windmill. But at the same time, I don't want something that you see all over YouTube. I don't want the same kind of windmill that everybody builds. I'd rather like to build something of my own. So... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the floor. And as always, I'm going to put just oak wood underneath the chests. Maybe we take out that one and this one. And then I'm going to put in some coarse dirt to make it look like it's trodden on in here. And then I'm going to mix in just some random pieces of oak wood. Just to sort of make it look like there was an oak wood floor down here. But at some point, you know, people came in. They were with their messy shoes. They dirted up the floor. And I think this will look just how I want it to. I want it to be very dirty in here because farmers are going to be out in the fields plucking up the, you know, plucking up the crops and whatnot. And they're going to be dragging dirt all in here. So, yeah, I think maybe a couple more pieces in. Maybe we could just even add in. Uh, there's a piece there, look. If we could just add in a couple of pieces. Uh, maybe a little bit more matching this up. Yeah, I like that. I don't want to add... The thing is, I want to add more over here, but at the same time, I don't want to add it in sort of like a crisscross pattern. So yeah, I think my next goal, though, is to sort of get the first floor in. 
I want to get everything in this first floor done. And there is a possibility that we can extend this further down. I imagine I'm going to start using up a storage. So I may start digging a basement out in the future if we need more storage. So I've got some of the inside in place now. These walls are all brought up. The inside is in place. We've got these chests in here. These chests in over here. Which is exactly what I want. I've got to put the um, items in here. But I'm going to worry about that when I start to plant the fields. Outside, I've just gone ahead and replaced some of these walls with fence posts. I want this to feel very open. And I think having the fence posts does that. It doesn't take away from it. So I kind of want to have them there as well. I'm going to run these somewhat up the sides. I think just maybe there. I'm not sure on that one. Yeah, I might take them out. But my next task is to bring this center one up. Now, I was debating whether to go in and then back out at the top. But I thought, you know what? No. I'm just going to go straight up with this and just see how it looks. So I'm going to get on that. Well, guys, this is kind of the height that I'm at. And I rather like this height. I think this is going to be pretty good. Uh, I do want to put a dome roof on it. Not dome roof, but a, a circular roof on it using slabs and planks, which is going to be going to be a challenge. I've never done one like this before. Uh, again, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to do a um, slanted one on here. I'm not sure yet. I worry about this roof once I've worried about the big roof. But I kind of want to put the blade on rather sooner rather than later. Because I'm a little bit iffy on how this blade is going to go. So obviously I'm going to use wool for the blade. But I, I, as much as I'd like to do a diagonal one, I've never done a diagonal blade before. So I think I'm going to put a vertical and a horizontal one on for now. It's something that we can change later if I don't like it. But I don't think it would be that bad. So I think I'm going to get that on. On another note... We still haven't gone through a single shear. Now, this sort of, I think these droppers, I keep calling them droppers, they're dispensers. They probably do it on like a round robin, so it uses one slot, then another slot, then another slot. It's probably not random. I'm not sure on that one. So it might be that we just get like a bunch of shears go missing all at once. That might be what happens, because obviously after one starts to break, then the others are going to start to break. But for right now, it, it's more than stock. Now we're trying to find a windmill blade that I like, and this is the closest I'm getting. And I'm still not even happy with this. The trouble is, my main problem is, it's like 2 o'clock. This video goes live at 5. It gives me 3 hours. It takes about an hour to render it out and upload it. So I've only got about 2 hours left to, to finish this. And I've spent way too long on this. So I think I'm going to take a break from the, from the windmill blade. And I'm going to work a little bit on the rest of the build. Try and get some of it into place. So guys, I've got the roof in place. You can't really see the roof too much from here. I think it kind of blends in a little bit. But I like it. It's small and I like it. And from this angle, I'm not too fond of it. But from the other angles, I really kind of like it. I think it looks a lot better from the back. I think that looks kind of... It looks like a bit of a Dalek head. If we had something coming out there like a telescope, it could totally be a Dalek. But yeah, I kind of like it from all the other angles. Oh, jeez, you didn't... I'll tell you, it's been one of those days. I've tried to do one thing and it's always done another thing. But yeah, it looks alright from most angles. It's just this front side that I'm not too fond about. But to be honest, we've kind of got this blocking the way. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it might be because this is like bright compared to the rest of it that I'm not attaching to it too much. So we may come in here and I may change this out. I may watch some videos to see what I can find out in terms of good designs for windmills. Because th this front bit, I'm not too fond about. Jeez, I wanted to eat and I'm placing blocks everywhere. So yeah, I think the next bit that I want to do is I want to start working on the fields out back. And I want each of these doors to lead into a separate field. And how do I... Oh, right. I could just pick that up with uh, silk to tracks. Okay, cool. So I do need to sort of do some terraforming back here. Which means we're moving a lot of this. So yeah, I'm going to get on that. Well, I was wondering when they'd show up. They're here. Again. They're all just sort of chilling in the pool party. They're having a pool party. Every build, I tell you. Every build. Bit of a progress update for you. I've got the outer fence in place now. And I've also got one of the inner fences in place too. And all I'm doing is I'm just running basically like we have done over everywhere in this farm. Is just wooden pillars with a different fence. I've chosen stripped oak logs and spruce fences here. So all we're going to do is we're going to come out. Uh, I want to keep the sort of middle field for wheat, so it's going to be a lot larger than those of its competitors. There we go, look. And then I don't think we're going to have enough spruce wood for this, actually, now I'm thinking about this. Uh, we may need to just move this one out one, just so we can connect this like so. Yeah, I'm going to have to make up some more spruce wood. 
But yeah, that's all I'm doing, and then I'm going to start moving in some of the crops. Welcome on back, guys. And this is what I've gone with. I've actually found a blade that I like. I just was sat, he sat here last night, and I'm like, I'm going to try trapdoors. And I did, and it works. I like the oak trapdoors because we can see through them. So it gives that illusion that there's still that white background there. But it doesn't look as, as um, imposing as the white on the birchwood did. This is birchwood, by the way. Yes, I used birchwood in the build. The stripped birch logs actually are pretty good. Uh, so are the planks. I like the planks as well. It's just the actual j default log I don't like. But yeah, so we've got this in place. I've moved in the vast majority of the storage for this area. So we've got our wheat up here. We've got our seeds. We've got a lot of seeds. We got our carrots here, our potatoes here. Poisonous potatoes are going to go in this column here. And I've got a bunch of hoes here so that we can go ahead and just mine it. Because you, you know I'm going to come here one day and then I'm going to come out here and one of these patches isn't going to be lush farmland like... Oh, I, I missed planting one day. I don't have a seed on me. But you know that one of these is going to have turned to dirt and I'm just going to be like, oh man, I got a hoe. Like that one right there. And I'm going to have forgotten my hoe, and it's just nice to have them here. It's like, yeah, cool. They're here. So, we got carrot fields over here. We got our wheat fields here. The wheat one is the larger one. And we've got our potato fields right here. The potato one is a little bit layered. Uh, the reason that I chose this one for the potato field, because I had two choices, is because I don't see myself harvesting potatoes that much, and this one's a pain to replant. Because, you know, you're going up and down a block, and you're always trampling the block below it, so... That's a bit of a pain. This one's nice and easy, and I'll be using carrots to breed up the pigs. So, potatoes right now don't really have much of a use for us, other than obviously being a food source. But we've got animals, so we don't really need them. But they're there for if I need them. And I also brought the pathway around here. I was actually going to bring it up to about here, but I kind of got carried away. <laughs> and I ended up bringing it all the way to the end here. Like I said, I'm not sure what I want to do here. I'm not sure if I want to drop it down. I th I'm thinking at this point, we sort of drop it down a level. And then we fill this in and we have sort of like the gate here. Which is something I'm going to be working on in an upcoming episode. Not sure which episode yet. But this looks really, really nice. And I think it's come along really, really well. These fields are just... Feels like a farmland with these fields in place. I really, really like it. You can tell where I ran out of... Where, where, words. You can tell where I ran out of seeds for the wheat field. Because there's hard, most of it is done. Whereas some of it is not done. So you can tell where I ran out of seeds. And I think I'm going to get some more seeds. But yeah, so I think the windmill overall looks really good. I'm happy with this design in the end. Uh, the roof is something that I may change. I'm not too happy with that. But I want to really quickly show you something that I was working on as well. So last night I was chilling in a whip stream. He was doing a big 12-hour stream. And congratulations for reaching 500 subscribers over on Twitch, which is a phenomenal number. Uh, he kind of lost uh, uh, about 50 of those between when he announced the stream and when it went live. But I think he's back up to 500 now. It was on point. But I saw he had, he had a uh, map, like a big, massive map table. So I thought, okay, you know, we're going we're gonna to have a map war uh, for the farm. And this is it so far. This is what it's looking like. And I think this is really cool on the map. You can really see the buildings coming together. They're spaced apart like I want, like a farm would have. So they are looking really, really cool. This is, um, obviously you can tell there was a bridge there at some point, but there's not anymore. Uh, obviously, this is the bridge here. Uh, you can sort of see we've got the stable here, the barn here, the storage place here, the windmill here. And I think on the map, the windmill looks pretty cool. Now, can I? Thank you. Is this going to update? No. I need to update this. This was before I planted the additional seeds. So, yeah, you can see where I, where I ran out of seeds when planting this field. But, yeah, I think this is going to look really cool when we get more of this in. And this gives me sort of a, a size of where I want to go with it. I think we're only going to go about to here with it. I think this is going to be it. We're, we're closing in on the finish. I think over here I'd like to put some chicken coops. I think right here I'd like to put a melon and, and pumpkin patch because we've got a building right here. And maybe put the chicken coops somewhere here is what I'm thinking. But this helps me visualize it. But yeah, I think that's going to do that bit. So I think the world is really coming along now. We're starting to really get some progress into it. And I was, I, I want to say again another like major thank you to everybody for the support on the channel. We, you know, I, most YouTubers at this point, given the current situation, are pulling in double views. We're, we're pulling in six times the views I normally get. Six times the views I normally get. It, it, it's amazing. And it's just phenomenal. So thank you guys so much for that. 
Uh, most of that is down to snapshot videos, but there is an increase in these episodes as well. So I'm really, really happy with that. That looks so nice now that we've got that there. I can't wait to get this pathway in and these manor houses in. Oh, it's going to look so good. Oh, I'm really proud of this settlement. I really think the settlement is definitely a level up. A level up from where I was. Uh, definitely. This hill is going to look so nice when we get it done as well. Oh, there's so much to do and I, I am enjoying every bit of it. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to call it for this episode. So, if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel. I really do appreciate it. So, please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me, guys. I'm Casey Otter. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.